Okay, the best corn cure recipe in the world. Step one, get your dad, get your mom, get your brother, friend to start eating a lot of cottage cheese so you can get these containers because these containers are really good. No shortcuts. Okay, we're gonna go drain that. We wanna get most of the juice out of, out of there. While the corn's draining, we can get this all ready. If you're using a smaller spoon, a spoon and a half or two. No parsley. McCormick's garlic salt with no parsley. Kind of harder to find, but it's out there. Spoonful of this. Boop. This is just the bottom to a water bottle. In oil, not water. It helps if these are, are kind of warm. If these are cold, it, it's it's tough getting that fat out of here, that fat and the, and the oil. Why we did this, you can see already, you can see the two layers. You can see the oil separating up top, or most of the oil, most of the vegetable oil, the tuna oil down below. So we're gonna let this sit. We're gonna set it aside and let it sit. Now we add our corn. Fire dye. Two spoonfuls. One piece per hook. One piece. Because you don't want to you don't want to screw up that action on your lure by putting two or three or four pieces on on a hook. And you want to be able to have that barb open to the fish. Our tuna's been sitting. See the separation right there? You can see it really good now. We're gonna get rid of that top. We're just skimming the top. And you'll see it slowly start to go away as I do this. See how just the oil's going in? If I dip it too, if I dip it too hard, it'll get cloudy, see? So just the oil. You can see it separating in the spoon. See that cloudy bit in the center, and then the oil around it? We wanna get that clear oil out of there. That's This is the oil you don't want. Because if you get it on your hands and it gets on your reel, then you clip into your downrigger and then you get a bunch of false releases. If you use the, the water-based corn, which I've tried before, you lose your scent quick. I probably dip this, this spoon 10 times. So that's it. There's still gonna be a little layer up top, but you got most of the oil out. And the entire oil in. Cottage cheese corn. Shelf life, about a month and a half to two months. So if you see somebody at the launch, on the water, anywhere that could use some help kokanee fishing, give them this, give them some of the corn you just made. So if you see somebody on the water struggling, put a little in a plastic bag, put some air in it like a balloon, zip lock it shut, then, then throw it in the water and they'll swing by and pick it up with their net. As long as it's a calm day and they can see it. Fire cure, garlic salt, chicken of the sea, tuna in oil, fire dye. Thanks for watching.